go ahead and get started. Hopefully everyone has done the first two uh, tutorials beforehand, and if not, we may just backtrack and get everyone acclimated to uh, the W, E, and R, how to extrude, how to create a shape, and so forth. Um, so let's go ahead and go get started. I've given you a file. Uh, this is a stingray underscore one, which already has an image in it. Uh, if you don't see the image, go ahead and put the Maya file in the top and bottom image all on the desktop and then open it up and it should uh, see that JPEG and put it into the scene. All right, so really quickly, we're gonna create a very, 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 very simple box model of the Stingray. And so uh, we're going to start creating the silhouette and start shaping it. And hopefully over two uh, or three tutorials, we'll get this uh, looking kind of like a stinger. All right, so we're going to grab that front face and hit extrude. And just going to pull that arrow, not the box. I'm going to hit uh, kind of G. So you can see right there, there's some nostrils or, or airway right there. Again, I don't know a scientific term, so I'm just gonna go to uh, the back and to the front of those nostrils. So anywhere that you see gaps or openings, those are really great places to kind of uh, create these uh, extensions. So right here, I don't know, we'll have to look at the, the images. It could, could be the eyeball. And we'll hit G, which is the last thing, which was extrude. Hit G one more time and then G over here to the very tip of that uh, stingray. All right, so we're gonna go back over here and what I'm doing is holding down right click and hit face and we're grabbing that and shift extrude face and here we're gonna go a little bit faster. We don't need uh, to stop every two inches. So I'm gonna hit G, which is doing the last thing of extruding, G and G. All right, so I'm literally just doing this really quickly on the fly. Uh, you guys will be doing this a lot faster, so definitely go at your pace. Uh, we'll definitely do kind of a preliminary. You guys will probably be watching the tutorial and I'll be going around and helping you out with a lot of questions, but I'll probably uh, model this live and then have you kind of to echo of what I'm doing. All right, so we've kind of set up these uh, cubes here. Now we're gonna go to the side and start extruding it out. All right, so when I hit extrude face and I'm hitting shift and right click hold, shift on the keyboard and right click on my three mouse button and hit extrude face. So we're gonna pull out and you can see it's doing it symmetrically. And we've got a little bit of issue here and this is a good thing is I accidentally grabbed something on the bottom. So when I hit command Z and uh, Turn off my bottom and deselect that. I'm holding shift to deselect that and turn this back on. All right, so it's good that I'm making a mistake uh, so you can see from my mistakes that you'll learn from. So I'm just going to extrude this uh, maybe two or three times. All right, and you see we're trying to keep everything uh, as quad based here. So you can see uh, some interesting, uh, really cube like shape, uh, which is kind of boring. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and start pulling out the tail now. So we're gonna right click face, uh, grab that shift and extrude face. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. This time I'm gonna go to my top view. Again, we don't have the tail in the image perfectly symmetrical, but we're gonna kind of use arti artistic license All right, so now we're gonna go right click. Uh, we can go over the object and we're going to go right click vertex, hold over, right click, hold and vertex. And we're just gonna start hitting W and you should start to see uh, the move tool. All right, and what we're gonna do is just start shaping the silhouette of the Stingray, all right, so we're just gonna keep pushing this in. Pushing that in. Pushing this in. Oops, Apple Z. All right, again, 
you're just going to uh, create impressions of the silhouette. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be very boxy. I'm just kind of pulling this stuff in. All right. I'll just kind of And the way I'm grabbing these, I'm doing a marquee and grabbing three or four at a time. And we can also go in here to shading. We can go into x-ray so we can kind of see through it. That's very helpful uh, in this stage right now. All right, so we're just gonna keep pulling this in. Our, my center, uh, there is a ridge line in here on this stingray. Stuff bulges in and out. And it'd be so fantastic if we actually uh, had some better reference uh, images for this. But we're just going to try our best with what we have and just kind of echo this uh, viewpoint of this stingray. All right, so I'm just keep pulling this in. And again, we just want to look at our lines, make sure that these have nice flows to them um, when we're modeling. So really quickly, we're starting to get uh, the silhouette of the stingray. All right, and you see really how easy it is to kind of replicate an organic form. And then once we get into ZBrush, we'll really be, really be able to start sculpting it out. So all these little uh, undulations of the edge, uh, we'll probably try to pull that out in uh, ZBrush. You can start to see where our nostrils and our eyeballs and all that uh, are starting to line up with our modeling here. And we'll, again, we're going to break this into several sections. Again, this stingray may be a little bit too complicated, so we may go uh, to a fish or something like that. Keep it simple so you guys kind of understand the pipeline of what we're doing here. All right, this is kind of pressed in here pretty tight, but again, just kind of get a nice silhouette here. And there's uh, tons of ways or different uh, software packages that you can use from uh, Blender, which is very similar uh, to Maya. Basically, they're all very similar. We're all doing polygon models uh, from 3D Studio Max to uh, Cinema 4D. I've had students use Cinema 4D for mo box modeling or just uh, straight up modeling. So there's uh, totally different ways of using whatever is available to model, okay? So I'm just gonna keep moving this in. And I'll probably stop here soon and start the save. Now you see over here to my right is everything that we've done. So uh, when we finally bring this into Unity, we'll delete the history so it's not so heavy. All right, so it looks pretty cluttered here. I'm just gonna go in here and start cleaning it up so it has some nice, uh, lines to it. Uh, it's really kind of a mess. And I probably did a little bit too much geometry. All right. And you can kind of fast forward. You don't have to watch me every second here. I just wanted to uh, kind of clean this up as best as possible. All right. 
Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so basically we're just really doing our best to create kind of silhouette. All right, so we zoom out. You can start to see some sort of shape here. It's more like a guitar. All right, so um, again, it's very flat. We want to go ahead and start shaping it from the side view. So I'm just gonna hit space bar and go to my side view. Uh, sometimes it's easier to stop recording. So uh, anyways, I'm just going to uh, my perspective. Sometimes it's easier just to see from perspective. And you can see I'm still doing marquee over this area, pushing it down like so. So maybe I may give you the final object file so you can have it and as like training wheels and that will be helpful for your modeling. All right. So we basically just started to create just a very, very simple uh, shape. And then as you know, it's very uh, kind of uh, aerodynamic looking. And so I'm just gonna hit four. We can get to wireframe. Again, marquee this. As it goes further down, you can see it's kind of like an airplane uh, wing, all right? So it's totally not gonna be 100% accurate, but again, until we get a nice front uh, view of each animal and species that you're gonna be working on, it's almost nearly impossible to do that. All right, so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just grabbing the front. We know that's going to uh, kind of ramp up here. Grab these one at a time, start shaping it out. And we know uh, basically this all kinds comes up to the front. And one of the things that you can do is do a soft select and it'll grab almost everything around that. But right now for what we're doing, I just want you all to kind of learn how to gr grab one vertex at a time. Okay, you start to see the shape. Pulling it up. All right, we know everything on the edge here is going to be flat. We're going to pull it in and pull down. Pull in, pull down. All right. Again, probably for the class, you guys will probably have the final model underneath it. And so you can kind of see where to pull down. It'll be kind of a, a silhouette in there. And then I'll show you in the class and, and what that will look like. All right. So just trying to give it some edging. grab multiple lines. I'm holding the shift here and we're going to pull this down. All right. Alright. Pull this down and back. All right, you can really start to see uh, this starting to take shape now. All right, so we do have a lot of geometry. We should have probably start out a little bit uh, simpler. We're just probably a little too much to work with here. So I'm just really just kind of pushing around uh, too much polygon. So we should definitely start off with just a, a lot more cuts and then cut later on. All right. Anyways, it's looking pretty good. Again, this will be a little bit different in class, but you know, if you ever go back and want to see 
how this is done. You can go back and watch uh, multiple times and just kind of step by step see how this is done. Uh, this is basically how we all learn. Uh, Maya's watching tutorials and just, just get in there and just learn, 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 learn. It's just a, a long process of just getting used to the tools and just over and over and over and over again, just keep uh, learning how to create simple shapes with uh, the polygon tool sets that we have here. All right, I'm gonna stop here in just a second. I'm kinda, kinda happy with what we have so far. All right, as soon as you get used to this, we're gonna jump into ZBrush and really start sculpting with our uh, Wacom tablets, which is a whole other uh, can of worms that you're gonna be learning. Okay, so you can just see, I'm just kind of pushing this down and beveling it in. Uh, just push it down, I think that goes down. pretty good. Again, this, you're this basically just a round mound. It looks like an airplane wing from the side view. So just keep trying to flatten it as best as you can. All right, let's, uh, we're going to stop here in just a second uh, and I'm gonna look at some more reference material offline and just make sure we're going in the right direction. All right, so if I hit uh, object mode and I turn off uh, that and I hit number three, make sure you save this stuff number three, you can start to see uh, some, some rough shape of what we're going to um, work on. So you can see when I hit three, it kind of goes into that mode. We can actually go in here and go uh, face and I turn off this V. And we can uh, select these faces and delete them. We're gonna have to do this down the road anyways. So I'm gonna turn that uh, back on. And again, hit number three. You can see kind of a, a smoother, smoother version of this. So I wanna stop here. That's a long video. Again, you're just gonna try your best to get to the silhouette. I might go back and look at my reference images and see what we can do for nostrils and start to get a better shape for this. All right, 